on the tech side for the main channel stuff uh, I have a couple things to show off real quick here but I basically have a giant webcam comparison of all the new webcams to show off so I have the new Nexigo they have a 4k conference cam and then the new iris 4k cam that does HDMI and USB uh, that LTT did a sponsored stream with I have that just got that in today as well as one of their previous ones I got the insta 360 link so I've got their new little obsbot knockoff effectively but it's supposed to be really really good I've got the Lumina webcam which was made like by formal like former like Apple or Google people or something there was a big Kickstarter I remember I got sending the, you the link to that like a year and a half ago. Yeah, it took forever <laughs> to get it. I got the Anchor C300 from a while back. Finally got that in for review. And then I've got the Dell AI one that I still haven't covered yet. So I'm basically just going to be do a giant like, here's all the recent webcams. They're awesome now, video. Um, YouTube. YouTube already has 360 video support, right? Yes. It would be really cool if they figured out a way to let you hook a 360 camera in a live stream with a static scene so like you could drag around the webcam to look around in the scene but the oh but my. the but the regular scene is still static yeah that, that, that would be really cool also you know then the people that are doing stuff off stream off camera probably <laughs> need to be a little like, bit more on their toes but <laughs> like half of the vr videos you see where it's only like 180 degrees it's not the full 360 so you don't get to see the production crew you just get like a wider field of view I'm just going to turn the camera around and look at the back of the wall anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have two more tech-related things. One, I can't tell you about, but I will say a streaming company sent me a new product that's coming out soon that I can't wait to cover, and I'm very excited. And then in this box, this wasn't supposed to get here today, but I have something very special. I have one of the few that are actually in the wild outside of a pop-up shop. iPhone 14. I knew it. Oh, God, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Jesus Christ, I wish. I've got the LTT screwdrivers! Ooh. So, they sent me a regular one that you would get just retail, and then they sent a creator edition pack. Um, and so, they've got even, like, Linus's signature on the back, which is kind of goofy. Um, actually, it's on the back of the normal one, too. But it, this one comes with, like, a crap ton of bits, which means I bought extra bit sets probably for no reason, but that's fine. And it's got like the story of them making it and obviously you can go watch their video on it and things like that uh but i have been so incredibly excited for this and in fact i just spent like three hours yesterday installing outlets in the new shed workspace um and i could have really used a ratcheting screwdriver that wasn't a piece of crap for that because that was a pain <laughs> in the ass so this is the the unboxing of the creator edition had a little i got purple pink yes they chose the correct color for me. So they, they did different specific colorways for specific creators, uh, which is really rad. Oh, and this package comes with two. Normal black on black with silver shaft and then purple pink on black with silver shaft. This is wild. How do I, there we go. Ooh, ooh. I know this is the weirdest thing to like demonstrate on stream. Like, sitting there, you know, the little tiny screws for outlets that don't want to, like, go right and your screwdrivers are always too big and having to, just being able to go. Oh, that would have been so satisfying. Got the big grip in the back. Does it unscrew? Does it pop out? I forgot. Oh, oh, oh look. At, it's like a Covenant, like, or like the, the clone, the, the droid ships in Phantom Menace. Or the, uh, Kyber, the Kyber container for the lightsaber. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or like the ODST drop pods or elite drop pods or something. Magnet bits. Woo! That Very is cool. nice. Now, why are they doing a power drill? <laughs> I think I, I think during one of WAN shows or something, they got asked about uh, doing an electric one, and Linus had a very long-winded explanation for that, but effectively, no. Um, it's probably a lot more expensive, and oh yeah, you know, I I don't. I don't blame him for, for wanting to shoot that down quickly. And, like, his thing <laughs> is with these kind of functional projects, um, uh, perfectly balanced. Anyway, um, with the functional products, he wants to, like, <laughs> solve a problem with... Uh, perfectly balanced. <laughs> you, you couldn't let that one get by me. <laughs> Uh, he wants to like make sure whatever he's doing is solving a problem with a specific thing, and he said like he doesn't use enough you know electric screwdrivers to know what that problem would be and to be as dedicated to it. And so I appreciate right. that. 
I don't think I'd have the attention span. Like, I would love... There are a lot of things that I've seen, especially after watching them do a lot of their merch stuff. There are a lot of things where I'm like, I want to make a thing that solves that. And I have one. I'm holding on to it, not talking about it publicly. I have one, but it would be incredibly expensive to, like, pursue, so I don't know that I will. But, like... Yeah, it's really cool that you're gonna... And then you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, but like between the upfront costs, like I don't have a hundred grand just to make a mold for something in the first place or whatever. Uh, I don't know that I'd have the attention span to like stick with it for three years to see it come to fruition. Like, especially in the age of 3D printing where like I just designed, do I have a short one? I don't have an easy one to grab. I just designed because, so I bought we will we will get to topics right after this. I am so sorry. Uh, a, a few years ago, I bought these freaking quasar tubes. They're basically like fluorescent replacements, but they're LED and they're color accurate and they don't flicker and blah blah blah. I've never really used them. They are not super useful. They don't even come with dimmers. They're not battery powered. And I not long after got actual like RGB light tubes that are infinitely more useful. And so these have always just been like workbench lights or like backdrop lights or whatever. And so, uh, for my workbench and, you know, workshop setup in the shed, I want to just, like, mount these up above and have, like, super high-quality light for video while I'm working on glitch art projects and stuff. And so, so I... So those are just normal yeah, flat just, lighting? Yeah, they're just 5600K white. Um, but I have no way to, like, mount them without crazy clamps and stuff. And so I just, last night, designed and 3D printed, printed little slots that slot on and I can screw into the wall and I can just nice. mount them where they need to go. And that took me, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> and the same thing with like they're doing the little uh, they're doing little magnetic cable harnesses and stuff like that. Except they're having them injection mo injected molded and stuff. And I'm like, while I'll never be able to sell millions of them like LTT is doing, I'd much rather just design it on a 3D printer, fire it off, and then be done with it than spend years getting plastic made and fine tuning the knurling on the shaft. And like, I love their dedication. This is not shit talking, but like, I don't think I could do it. Is what I'm saying. Like they're making something for mass production, a yeah. product for people to buy. If you may, if you 3D print something and like, it looks kind of rough, but it's still functional. It's totally fine for you because you you yeah. made it for a reason. It's supposed to be functional, <laughs> yeah. not like pretty. I, I sell some 3D printed stuff on Etsy, and like I'm doing a new one that should be pretty cool. But I'm gonna like spray paint it to cover up some of the 3D lines. But like, if you want it to look like a polished product, 3D. Resin printing kind of gets there, but overall 3D printing is not really for that. 